Hello and welcome to a Let's Play Briefly. Uh, this is going to be uh, a bit of a departure for me. Uh, it's called NFL Challenge. It's from 1980-something. Oh, let's find out. What year did this thing come out? 1985. It was an oldie. Um, and it's really interesting because it forgoes the graphical sort of complexity even of games of that time and just goes for the X's and O's to play games of football on your computer. Very basic. I am not a football person. Like, I don't really know the game very well, but it was uh, a simulation that I kind of enjoyed at the time. It came out when I was, what, 12? Um, and it was fun. So what you're going to want to do, uh, I'm just going to kind of give you a run through of how to get it set up because it is a little bit uh, funky uh, how to put it together when, you, uh, when you're just getting it. it. It takes a little bit of fiddling. Uh, but if you can get a hold of the copy uh, that I've got here, the Complete Edition by Straton, Strato NASCAR, uh, that actually has all the seasons from 1966 up to 2020. Uh, the original game only had one or two seasons. This one adds all the seasons up to 2020. And uh, you can play any pair of, of teams that you want. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the game. You can see here it's going to be NFL Challenge, the original DOS version, but it's going to be the version that was updated by this uh, Strato NASCAR person. This game was made by the XOR company, XOR, Exclusive OR don't know exactly how they called themselves it was XOR company uh, and they made this game and it was a lot of fun at the time it's very very old clearly 1985 um, but I, I, I think it's enjoyable so what you're gonna do is you're going to of course extract it and you're gonna put it wherever you put your DOS games it doesn't matter but the whole point here is that you need to set up the folders in such a way that you're able to create two hard disks in your DOSBox uh, emulator. Because of the way the game works, it assumes that the teams are going to be at the base level of the whatever disk they run on. Um, but the problem is that the way the folder is set up in the download, they're all in these folders here which won't work they won't they won't run uh, you'll run the game and it'll just quit out because it can't find the things that, it, that you need now this is hard to mount in DOSBox because it's got spaces and it's all kind of a mess so what I've done is I actually made myself a folder in my in my install of this called team data no spaces again it makes it easier to mount and then inside I've gone ahead and put NCAA, NCAA underscore greats, NFL, NFL underscore greats. So that is kind of a mishmash combination of all of these here. So once you've got that set up, it makes it a lot easier. I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. It makes it a heck of a lot easier to mount. So uh, while we wait for this to delete, this is awkward. was not expecting it to take that long. There we go. Okay. So I've got the NFL Challenge game here at my root level, essentially. And then inside that is team data. And inside that are all of the freaking teams, right? From 1960 and then 1966 up through 2020. A whole bunch of NCAA teams here as well. Greats and NFL greats. These are just very specific, uh, very specific teams. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and load up your DOS box, which I, I use DOS box staging, which is a really good, uh, really good version of DOS box. It's essentially 0.78. It's a lot newer uh, than the 0.74 that most people are using, and it's slightly updated. I mean, it's not absolutely necessary, but, uh, you know, it's, it's worth having the best. So here we are. I have mine set to automatically mount, but I'm mounting the C drive as my retro, great retro games DOS stuff. And then I need to mount D. And D is going to be C, retro games, 
games, DOS, NFL, then team data. And then let's say I want to run uh, the NFL teams from 1989. Then I have them in my NFL folder, 1989. That will mount drive D as that set of teams in 1989 because it has to be, remember, they have to be at the top level of whatever disk they're loaded into. Otherwise, it won't work. So we go to the NFL uh, folder here, and this is this is their the uh, this is the layout of the uh, the directory for NFL. Now, one of the things you should look at, if I could find it, where the heck are you? Uh, is it here? Uh, hang on, hang on now. No. Is it league? Hmm. Oh, it might be. I might not have set it up on here. Let's try this out. Okay. XOR NFL Challenge. Okay, here we go. That's ah, this is what I was looking for. So when you first start the game, it doesn't have a config.nfl file created, which is why I couldn't find it. I had forgotten that I had reset this earlier. So now that we have set the team disk to drive D, you have to, again, have it at the top level, which means you can't use drive C because drive C doesn't have your team on the flat top level. So we set, we mounted D as drive D with the folder that contains the 1989 teams. And then we can hit four as the team disk is on drive D. We're going to be a color graphics display. Actually make it an enhanced color graphics display. How about that? And most computers now are going to be PCAT, right? Like the keyboards that you use. So you're going to want to use PCAT because PC and PCXT are very, very old. Unless you are super retro, you don't have a keyboard like the old XT. And it is critically important because the control scheme for uh, NFL Challenge is very, very weird. It's designed to be played on the hot seat if you want to play two player, but not where one person sits down and plays, then the other person sits down and plays. It's in fact, one person sits on the left side of the keyboard and one person sits on the right side of the keyboard and it's a whole thing. So, now we can choose the home team. I'm going to say the Philadelphia Eagles. And the visiting team will be the Cleveland Browns. How about that? So, Cleveland Browns at Philadelphia Eagles. Now, you can do player versus player, player versus computer, or computer versus computer if you want to. So, we're going to do a uh, human coach for the Eagles, because I'm from Philly. And we're going to use the right keypad because I have a keyboard that has a numpad, which is important. If you, you can't do the right keyboard if you don't have a, a numpad. You'd have to do it on the left keyboard uh, because that's the left keyboard technically uses the function keys. I'll get into that in a minute. And we'll set this one to a computer coach. Now it uh, tosses the die, the, 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 the coin. The Browns win the toss and elect to receive. All right, so we're loading now. It would crash here. It would fail out here if we didn't have the team data loaded in at the D drive at the flat top level of, of the D drive. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the game. Okay, now we're going to hit, I'm going to hit the L key to enter learn mode. What learn mode does is it means that that timer in the upper right hand corner, the 30 second timer, just resets. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Um, and I need to learn mode because I am shit at football. So I'm going to pause it here. Well, not pause it so much as get back out to. Um, well, actually, I'm going to pause it so I can I can prep what I need to do next. I'm going to show you the manual uh, and show you how uh, how cool the game is in that respect. And uh, I will include a link to the manual on the uh, on the description of this video because. I actually had to get some help from uh, the Space Game Junkie Discord uh, guy, uh, some uh, uh, 
a, a person on there called uh, Corky I actually found the manual for me because I was having a hard time finding it. Uh, but I'll be right back once I've got that showing. Okay, I am back. So uh, here is the uh, the document. Oh, let me close out some of these tab thingies. Okay, the XOR Corporation. So this manual is, it looks like it was uh, done with some OCR to get it in. This, most of the manual is a very, very long tutorial of how to play the game. You will only ever really need to read it through once. The thing you're going to need to know is that the game played between two players, one player plays on the numpad and one player plays on the function keys, uh, which back in the day with the PCAT were all on the left hand side, as you can see from this from this diagram. I remember that. I remember my, my keyboard had function keys on the left. Most modern keyboards have the function keys along the top. So unfortunately, the arrow key element that they do with this is a little bit funky, but most of the time you only need to worry about using the numbers. The, the number F1 would be the number one, F7 is the number seven and so on. You're not using the number keys up here. Just bear in mind, you're using the function keys because this game can't possibly be normal. Uh, so you do this whole tutorial thing with jig here, which really it's it's it looks long and, and difficult, but uh, it is a lot of redundant, uh, very, very hand holding stuff. And it kind of teaches you a little bit about uh, football if you don't know anything like I don't know anything about how to do substitutions and so forth. Most of that stuff you're really not going to need to worry about, trust me, if you're just kind of casually playing the game. But if you want to actually pursue the game in depth, it's got some shit going on here. Oh my god, it keeps going. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the good part. Right here, uh, at this point, it is no longer OCR'd, it is actually just scanned in. So this is the play book. Right? Playbook. I said that weird, didn't I? That was weird. The playbook. There are a bunch of different groups of offensive plays. And as we go along through the different colors, you'll see. Then we have the defensive plays. And there should be four of those. And then finally, the reference keyboard guide, which is the thing you're going to need more than anything else, honestly, once you start. So remember, uh, I mean, there is a Mac version of this, uh, which you'd have to obviously get through and emulate, do through an emulator like um, Sheep Shaver or something like that. But over here on the left-hand side are the, are the keys. So the left keypad, as you can see, F1 through F10, the escape key to cancel or the Q key, uh, the tab key as an enter key, and so on. And then obviously the weird cursors, F1, F5, F4, F3, F2, F6. The right keypad, if you are using the right side, is much, much easier to deal with because you're just using the numpad and everything works as you expect. Then down the middle here are the various general keys that you can use to delay the speed of the game, uh, change coaches, switch the graphics modes on and off, uh, turn the learn mode on and off, which I do recommend keeping it on, at least at the start, saving games, uh, new game, uh, and so on. So. Let's go back to the game. So here we are. We're going to be the Eagles. Uh, so we're going to do a normal kick. Oh, got to remember, can't use the number keys. Got to use the numpad. Normal kick. You can turn the sound off, but there's virtually no sound, so does not even any point. OK, so now you can see there on the left hand side, the computer has access to these different groups, white, blue, purple, red, yellow, and special. And those pertain to the various offensive playbooks. I don't know for sure, but it seems to me that it goes from short plays to long plays from top to bottom. And it's probably the same, presumably the same on the defense, which is there on the right hand side for the Eagles, short yardage, 3-4 normal, 4-3 normal, and then long yardage. Now, the way the game works, you get to see which group your opponent is going to be playing, but not which actual play. I kind of wish it didn't do this, 
but it really has to if you're going to have two human players because there's no because it's assuming that you're playing on the, at the keyboard at the same time so in order to really be able to do this in a way that doesn't just make a huge enormous list of all the plays they do have to make it so that uh, unfortunately the uh, the opponent can see which group is being used uh, so if I go back here and I take a look at the offensive plays if I want to look at what was it uh, group yellow now this is a little bit cheaty so I'm not really cheating I just want to show you these things here group five yellow these are the offensive plays for long yardage shotgun and slot formations some with a third wide receiver and this is the list of the plays there's a risk gain uh, sort of ratio it's a sting long very long uh, basically the odds right um, and so the opponent has picked one of these yellow group, but we don't know which one. And the ones with the little yellow dot, are those are pass plays. Everything else is a run. In the yellow group, only one of them is a, pass, is a run play. The shotgun draw trap. The rest of these are going to be pass plays. And you can actually see the way it's set up here. You can actually see the play. So we don't know what they picked, but let's pick let's pick something that's relatively long yardage. Let's pick uh, group three, and down here, the defenses we're doing group three. We've got these options here. Most likely they're doing a pass. So let's see what do we want to try. Four pass rushers test the strong side block. Look again, I don't know fuck all about football. I just have fun with this game. So I'm gonna pick number seven because it looks pretty. I don't know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> let's do it, number seven. And now it plays out. And this is the cool part. That's not the cool part. This is the cool part. So we're the X's, they're the O's. They're trying to, oh, they got the pass, and then they uh, they caught the ball. No good. No good for us. All right. So what are they? What are we doing? So they're in red group now. And again, we could pick our defensive play before they do their offensive play if we wanted to, but I like sort of being slightly cheaty here. So let's do, let's do group two. Group two is three, four normal. Let's do a three deep, 23 deep. The strong side linebacker rushes three deep zones. I don't know. They're gonna try a pass, looks like. Oh, they caught it. Shit, shit, come on. Yeah, we got it. All right, second down, eight yards to go. They're on the 50 yard line. Okay, so let's do group three. What's an overtwist willy? That sounds weird. The stunting pass rushers may give the blockers trouble. Sure. Here we go. Got, oh man, okay, first down on the Browns. This is not going our way at all. All right, let's do, let's try some long yardage stuff here. This one looks, this one here, number six looks, uh, looks a bit complicated. Four, three over free safety blitz. Eight rushers draw a beat on the quarterback. If they don't get him, there's trouble. Well, let's try it. Ah, we got him. Nice. Wow. Okay, now we do an instant replay. When the, when the play is cool, they do an instant replay. Oh, he's just running back. I smacked him. Got him right in the face. Lost 11 yards. Second down, 21 to go. 
What are they going to try now? Oh, they're trying to purple group. Let's see what their purple group looks like. Oh, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Keep going, keep going. This is purple group here. It's for all situations. The formation is a double wing with lone setback and second tight end. So there's half of them are runs and half of them are passes. So it's basically a 50-50 chance that we're going to be dealing with a pass play. So we're going to try this second group. Let's roll ourselves all the way back down here. So we're probably, let's try checking to see what we can do with the pass play. Run blocking against uh, three deep zones. Okay, 20 over stack. Hmm, 20 over stack seems like it's good because these guys are going to be running back. And there's no way this guy is not going to try a pass because he's got 21 yards to go on the second down. That's crazy. So let's going to do, let's do uh, 20 over stack. He's trying a quick pass. Okay, well, maybe that was a bad, bad one. Quick passes, I think, are usually pretty short. Let's see what happens. No, there, ah, no, he, ooh. Yeah, we got, no gain, incomplete. Five yard penalty against the Eagles. No, automatic first, yeah, damn it. We can never have good things. All right, so let's try a blitz. Let's try 11 mic blitz. They're gonna try a screen. See how this goes for them. It's probably gonna go fine, because we're terrible at this. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, guys. Uh, just got him, just got him. Eight yard gain, two to go. Okay, he's in blue group. That, those are relatively short runs. So let's do, let's try a Sam and Will Blitz. Oh, oh shit, he's got, oh, come on. This is bad. This is so bad. First down Browns. They're they're gonna they're gonna touchdown, aren't they? They're gonna they're gonna do a touchdown. Take a touch make a touchdown. Make a touchdown. There we go. Uh what are our options here? Hmm. Hmm. 30 Willy. I don't know what that means, but it sounds funky. So let's do a 30 Willy. Fullback draw. Oh, he's trying to get through. Oh, nope. No gain. 10-yard penalty against the Browns. I'm going to accept the shit out of that. Uh-oh, the Eagles got an injury. And now, this is the game I have it right now set up to do and handle injuries myself. But you can turn that off so that you have to do your own injury substitutions yourself. Uh, that is one of the options. I, I think I can show it to you. Down here in the general keys in that middle column, there is the option to do M, hit the M key for manual substitution mode on or off. It is defaulted to off. Okay, so let's see what we can do for... They've got first down 20 yards to go. They're going to have to do... They're doing blue group. That's interesting. So let's try a normal. Let's see... We want to do a three deep, maybe. Let's see what we got. Three strong side linebacker rushes three deep zones. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, let's try the 20 three deep. Oh, I appear to have lost track of where things are here. There we go. Now we're back. Oh, 
Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it. Get him. Yes. Four yard gain on the second down. Okay. They're going to start getting a little nervous. They're going to have to go to long yards, but I'm still going to be able to play a little conservative. We're going to do over twist Willie because it sounds cool. They're going to try a pass. Slot XYZ in pass. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh, he's running, he's running, he's running. Oh, he's screwed, he's screwed. Come on, get him. Yes. No gain. Third down. He is definitely going to try a pass now. So let's look at our long yardage options. Will out nickel. Weak side linebacker is replaced by a back who lines up across from the split end. Or we could try a free safety blitz. Eight rushers draw a beat on the quarterback. Well, that seems dangerous. Because he's definitely going to try to pass. He's going to run back. Yeah. Three strong side rushers swamp the pass blockers. Maybe try that. This three, four strong safety blitz nickel. Sure. Why not? It's a long name. Long names are good. Shotgun, strong safety stack. All right, let's see what happens. Oh. Oh. Incomplete. Fourth down, 16 to go. He's going to punt it. No doubt. Or he's going to field goal. Go for a field goal, I'm sure. Yeah, field goal attempt. Oh, it was wide. Wide and right. Nice. Okay, well, now it's our turn. We'll do a couple of plays and then I'll uh, call it uh, call the episode uh, because we're getting close to our 30 minute mark. Uh, but let's see, purple group. So you can see you basically now that we're on the we're on the offense, we get to pick what we want to do. And let's do a quick pass here, maybe. Incomplete. Great. Keith Jackson, come on. Wake up. Okay, let's try some blue group. Let's do a halfback sprint draw. Don't know what that is. Don't know what any of these are. I probably knew when I was 12. Oh, that was dicey. Shit. No gain. We are going to have to push hard on this one. Yellow group. Shotgun Y cross. Oh, they're going for a blitz. What are you doing? Toss the damn ball. Oh! Three to go. Fourth down. I think we're gonna try short yards. We're gonna try, we're just gonna try to push it. Let's go for it. White group. QB sneak. Why not? Ooh, they're gonna try a blitz. We'll see what happens. Oh, so close. I missed. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that is uh, NFL Challenge by the XOR Corporation. It is a lot of fun. It's a quick play. I mean, it, it it's a, a full game of football, so it takes time, but it's easy to learn, easy to play. There doesn't doesn't require a lot of like information. You you don't have to know a lot. It's not like say uh, out of the park baseball or something like that, where it's got a, a very complex or I should say hyper detailed simulation in terms of what, what you have uh, control over. In this game, you pretty much control the plays on the field and that's it. Uh, so it is a nice casual game, but it is also uh, a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed this, I do recommend 
trying it out, see if you can get a hold of the, the game, uh, and uh, recall my suggestion about uh, setting up your teams as uh, in separate folders that you can get to easily by mounting uh, hard drive D, mount disk D, to the folder that is the, so uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, for example, no, that's not it. Uh, where, where did I put it? That's not the one I want. I don't want that. I want, Retro games, games, DOS, NFL, team data. So I was doing NFL 1989, and that is the list of teams. This needs to be at the top level on the disk. So you mount the folder that contains all of these things as your number, as your mount, uh, as your drive letter D. And then when you start the game for the first time, you select drive letter D as the location of your team data. Now, obviously it doesn't have to be D, it can be whatever, but it just definitely can't be the same one that the game is running on. Otherwise it just won't find it unless you copy all of these out to the top level of the NFL folder, which would be ridiculous because it's just, it's just a mess at that point. Uh, anyway, oh, I did not actually show you correctly, did I? I went to do this. This is what I meant to show you, haha, <laughs> my bad. So notice, NFL, team data, my NFL, and then 1989. And this is how I set it up, right? Because the original folder names are too long and uh, too difficult to, to parse for mounting the drive. But this is the top level right here that it needs to be drive D or E or F or whatever. It needs to be this stuff on the top level. So you pick, you mount D as the path to including that folder name. But yeah, anyway, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope you do enjoy the game if you decide to play. Thanks for watching. See you next time.